In this worksheet called Count If, we've got a complete list of our inventory, some 300 items. What we'd like to know is how many of those items are in the kitchen department, some in the dining department, so on. We've got a list over here in column J. We'd like to tabulate the items. Eventually tabulate the revenue from each department, also the average cost per item. The functions we'll be using here are all part of the same family, more or less, similar functions. The first one we're going to be using is called count if. And to make this a little clear, I'm going to hide column C. We really don't need to see that on the screen right now. So right click column C, hide. We'll zoom in just a bit here to make this a little clearer. The function we'll be using in cell K7 is count if. Count if has two arguments or parameters. The first one is where are we looking? The range where we're looking. And in this worksheet, there's nothing else in column B except department entries. Now, there is the word department, but it's not going to bother us. So we'll just click column B, comma. What are we looking for in column B? We're looking for the word kitchen. Now, if we don't have this in a nearby cell, we'll simply type double quote kitchen, double quote. But it's here in cell J7, so we'll simply click or type that, and we're all set. Press Enter to get a count of how many different times does the word kitchen appear in column B. And we can copy that down the remainder of the column simply by double clicking the lower right hand corner or dragging it. So that's how many items we have in the various departments of the items being shown here. With revenue, we want to go a step further here and use a different function called SUMIF. SUMIF is similar to COUNTIF, but it's got three arguments. This time, when we find a kitchen item, we want to go into column H and pick up the revenue and tabulate the total revenue for the kitchen items. Equal SUMIF. It begins with the same two arguments that COUNTIF began with. Where are we looking? We're looking in column B, comma. What are we looking for? The kitchen items comma, and when we find them, where will we look then? In column H. In situations where you're not using an entire column, suppose you were using a range, like B2 colon B50, then the corresponding entry over here should be something like H2 colon H50. In other words, there should be a parallel relationship between these two entries. That's all we need to say in this example. The total revenue for our kitchen items is 2039000 Double click here to copy this down the column. Now, the total of those entries is likely to be displayed in the status bar down below. If you've highlighted two or more cells and don't see an entry, you can right click down here in the status bar. You don't have to check them all if you don't want to, but check the items that are pertinent to you so that they will appear all the time in the status bar when you've got data highlighted. And a good cross check would be here. If we click column H, we should be seeing the same total to represent the total revenue for all of our items. So we've got this 22,224,000 here. Let's click column H. We should be seeing the same number at the bottom of the screen. And we are. I'll make these columns a bit narrower so we don't have to drag too much. In column M, we now want to do an average cost, and the function we'll be using here is called average if. It too begins with the same two arguments the sum if and count if begin with, and that is where are we looking? We're looking in column B, comma, what are we looking for? Kitchen, J7, comma, which column are we trying to get the average of? The price. Now, in column F, we've got some pound signs there. I didn't make it wide enough, but we can still use the entry, column F. Enter the average price of the kitchen items, and I'll make column F a bit wider here. Only $26, and we've got quite a few items here, but what's the average cost of the others? Double click, and we see those entries there. Scroll a little bit to the right so we can see this completely the average function. We're looking in column B for the department. If it's kitchen, go into column F, take the price, and of course do the average in this case. So these three functions, average if, sum if, and count if, 
all give us great tabulation capability when we're working with large lists of data.